اهلا بكم في برنامج البرنامج الحقيقه ان في اخطار كتيره جدا بتواجه الوطن والحقيقه ان في مؤامرات كتيره جدا زي ما الرئيس بيقول لنا على طول بتواجه هذا الوطن في عملاء وفي جواسيس وانا سعيد جدا ان احنا لاول مره كبرنامج عرفنا نقبض على واحد من اهم الجواسيس العالميه دخلوا جاسوس Ladies and gentlemen, John Stewart! Chokran! 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 شكرا شكرا خلاص 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 شكرا خلاص اودو اودو شكرا خلاص خلاص اودو خلاص خلاص شكرا خلاص اودو انا انا لا أنا أنا رجيل بسيط. شكرا. أودا أودا أنا 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 رجيل أنا رجيل بسيط. ما هشم حد يشيلني. مش مش عايز حد يشيلني. يا يا ما ما بحبش أترفع. ما ما بحبش أترفع. ما ما بحبش أترفع. ما لا ما 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 بحبش أترفع. أودا. ما بحبش اتريفها ما بيحدش حد يرفعك ما بتحبش حد يرفعك اوكي اتفضل يا بنات يس اور اودينس لاف سبايز دو ذي لاف سبايز اي ام ابيرنتلي ا سباي اي ام اكشلي اي ام اي ام اي ام اونرد نو اتس تو بي هير اون يور بروجرام اتس ا بيوتيفول ستوديو اورينج از ريلي اي لاف ذيم اتس ا بيوتيفول سيتي اند May I say something? May I make an announcement? This is an important announcement. I have been honored. This is, I, I don't even know what to say. Your president has bestowed upon me uh, an appointment. I, I am now the mayor of Luxor. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I'm now the mayor of Luxor. Thank you. Shokran. Kalas. Kalas. Aodo. Aodo. ما بحبش اترفع. That's all I know. There's nothing else I can do. All you know is ما بحبش اترفع. That's all. That's all I know is what they told me. And I grew the. the do you like? Yeah, I love it. This is. I am now. Uh, I'm brotherhood. I need to introduce you. Please. In 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 a way that is like you know, it's it's important that people know more about you. Yes, please. بيقولوا علي بس يوسف بتاع أمريكا. We be a little. I just said. I I just said you're awesome. Shokran, 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 خلاص. Odo. Being hot me. I just said that you're an inspiration to me. Yes. Ah, my heart. So so what happened? I mean, you left your program. I mean, now some British guy. I mean, John Oliver is actually doing your show. Why did you, I mean, you're jobless now. You have absolutely nothing to do. I'm just wandering. As you know, my people like to wander the desert. So that's, <laughs> that's what I'm doing now. I'm wandering yeah. the desert. Uh, it's been two weeks. I've got 38 years and 50 weeks left. So, <laughs> that's, so that's what I'm going to do. What are you doing? I mean, wh wh why did you leave the show? I have left the program to pursue a, a film that I wanted to do with a, a, a journalist who is also a friend of yours, an Iranian journalist named Maziar Bahari who uh, is a wonderful man. Do you know Maziar? So, uh, Maziar, uh, in 2009, uh, was reporting on the uh, Mosavi Ahmadinejad election. I, I don't recall who won. Uh, 
<laughs> and uh, he was imprisoned in, in Evan Prison, and he wrote a beautiful book about it, and he has uh, honored me and trusted me with telling the story uh, through a script and a movie, and I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to be able to so, do so it. So people said that he, was, he actually got in trouble because you spoke to one of your correspondents. Well, part, yes, we sent, uh, you know Jason Jones from yes. our, our show as a correspondent, we sent him to Iran uh, during the time of the election, not realizing it was during the time of the election because we're American, we don't know what's going on in the world. <laughs> so we thought, we'll just send him there, it's probably lovely this time of year. Uh, but apparently it was a revolution. And uh, so he went and we interviewed uh, Maziar in a cafe. And Maziar was uh, very kind to talk to us and said, uh, the point of the piece of going there was to show how much we are just people. We just have in common with each other. We're not, you know, you can get lost in the geopolitical ideas of enemies and uh, allies and frenemies and mahabash etrefa and all that. <laughs> And uh, after the interview, Maziar was arrested. Oh. And they showed him the interview from our show in prison as evidence that he was a spy. Oh. They said... Uh, it, it rings a bell, like having you here, getting you as a spy. <laughs> so, wait a minute, so wait. Well, yeah. So, if so, one of us gets arrested, who's going to make the movie? We're all going to be actually. Perfect. So um, I just want to share, um, before I go back to, uh, to what you're doing right in Jordan, I want to share a very dark part of your history. My uh, history. Th this is incriminating. There are many dark parts yeah, of my history. This is an incriminating evidence. Yeah, Can yeah? you show it, please? Yes. What Can do you, you have? Show? Ah! That's, uh, that's me just one year ago. Yes. Um, I mean, I really wonder how much hair you have, not in your hair. Oh, it's, I am, I could, do you it's want like, me to? You look like, we have, we have a singer who is very, very famous for that. <laughs> it, he's, he's our Justin Bieber, but he's like 50 years older, it doesn't matter, it's okay. With lots of hair, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can do, when I go bald, I'm just gonna comb it over from my back. Yes. <laughs> Pull it over like a hair umbrella. By the way, and I know this is a, uh, an ancient civilization. It is. And a beautiful we're, we're, we're civilization. We're very old. It's, it's, uh, it's such storied history. Uh, have you thought about traffic lights? <laughs> and I say this as a great people that must carry on the tradition of innovation. Can I have a, so do we have traffic, have you seen traffic lights? I have not seen one. <laughs> the law appears to be, can I get over the car in front of me? <laughs> now, I don't know what it was like before. I'll put it to you this way. So I flew into Egypt, I came here three days ago. Yes. And uh, uh, then I, I got in a car at the airport and just got here. In three days. <laughs> Well, and by the way, along the way, bought many garments on the side of the road. <laughs> the thing, what you, what you don't know about our traffic, that it's our first line of defense. Oh, your traffic is. We, we can never be occupied because the streets are already occupied. Ah! Yes. We, I mean, this is why you are a brilliant man. Yeah, I, I mean, the Marines will, will dare not actually set a foot in no, the streets no, of Paris. Absolutely yes. not. Yes. So, um, you've been like, You've been pursuing this. How come you get water and I don't get water? Actually, it's empty. Ah! <laughs> it's empty. I will say this, the hospitality that I've received, and I mean this honestly, has been, uh, it opens my heart. It's wonderful. The, the people have been wonderful to me. And it's to the point where, um, as I've traveled throughout the, the Middle East, I'm beginning to wonder if you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Can I get you something? Can I get you something else? Yeah. Would you like another? And I'm just like, you want a piece of this? Is that what you want? <laughs> you want to fight? Is that what this is? It's the friendliest thing in the world. I'm literally, I'm filled from here to here with apricots. Wow. I'm like, you could open up my head and just pull dates out now. And the baba ghanoush and the hummus and... I don't like the, the, uh, the hubble bubble. The, the what? The, the, the sit with the bubble and they make, it's like an aquarium with smoke. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. The hubbly bubble, whatever. Yes. We, this is how we raise fish. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> to be smokers. Yes. I yes, love it. Yeah. So um, you are, of course, one of the most, I mean, I mean, I've just known you, and I, I've read that you're some sort of a satirist in yes, the United States. Yes, I am the comedian uh, yes. of sorts. And, and the thing is, does satire puts you, like, gets you into trouble? I mean, what about the love you get from the people? I'll tell you this, it doesn't get me into the kind of trouble it gets you into. <laughs> I get in trouble, but nowhere near what happens to you. You, are, the you are in the Middle East, it's close. You're getting yes. close, yes. It is, I, I do uh, Bassam's job in a country that has carved out already. It is settled law. Satire is settled law. Uh, governments have realized that jokes, if, you, if your regime is not strong enough to handle a joke, then you don't have a regime. Because it is not, you have to be able to handle anything, a joke, is a joke. You may say that is an insult, and they say, you know, there's an expression, I don't know if you have it, adding insult to injury. Yes, maybe it is an insult, but it is not an injury. A joke has never ridden a motorcycle into a crowd with a baton. A joke has never shot tear gas to a group of people in a park. It's just talk. That is it. So, so you, you are doing, but what Bassam is doing, and this is what's so inspiring to me, and I know you don't like when I talk like this. Please. He is, he, is, he is showing that satire can still be relevant, that it can carve out space in a country for people to express themselves, because that's all democracy is, is the ability to express yourself and be heard. You won't always win, but you can't confuse tyranny with losing elections. It's just the opportunity to be heard and for the majority to respect the minority whatever they may say, however they may do it. So, That's good. this is what you do. But, but here, I mean, you had, you had your battles. I mean, with Fox News, our beloved Fox News. I mean, they're, I was watching, beloved. when I was living in the States, I was watching it, yeah, I yeah. was wondering in which pit of hell do they do their editorials? <laughs> um, I, I, mean, I, I, mean, it, 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 I mean, of course, it's like a gold mine for you, but like, yeah. I mean, you had, I mean, the, the amount of like hate and, 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 and stereotyping and, and profiling. But I always see it as fear. I always see it for what it is. It's, it's a way of, and you don't know ever if it's honest fear or if it's manipulation, but it's fear. It's all, everything is conspiracy. Everything is, uh, there is monsters around every corner. And, uh, there are like foreign fingers like want to get in. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We're very fond on fingers. There's yes. a lot of a, a trefa around a trefa, the corner. Yes. Fingers have a lot to do with this. Yes, yes. they really yes. do have a lot to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like, I mean, you have actually stood defending the rights of so many minorities, including Muslims and Arab minorities. I mean, you have spoken strongly for the 9-11 mosque. I mean, the minorities in Switzerland, Switzerland. Dude, and, and, and like... Oh, I've gone after Switzerland many times. <laughs> yeah. The mosque, the chocolates, the whole thing. I don't like it. <laughs> and, and you were actually... Uh, but it's not... You know, you, it's you've not been a... accused as a, as a Muslim and, and Bin Laden sympathizer sometimes. Sure. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, not that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Although that, you know, that's what's interesting about, you know, we all have misconceptions about each other. I'll tell you just, it's a quick story about that. So I, I'm from America. I live in New York City. 9-11 yeah. is very close to my heart. It was a, a terrible tragedy. And I'm over here, and I'm in uh, uh, Jordan, and I meet a man, and we are in a, a refugee camp, and uh, everyone is poor, and this man brings me dates, and he is incredibly hospitable, and he is warm, and he is open, and he would like me to visit and see his family, and I'm just touched by this man. And I say, well, what, what is your name? And he says, Osama. And I thought, I need to open up, you know, because you learn that you know, names are names and stereotypes are stereotypes, but ignorance goes both ways. And so that was, uh, it was, it was a difficult, it's the kind of thing that you need to uh, open your heart to. It's very hard, but I, you know, and I love my country, you know, and I, and I especially overseas defend it to, to the end, you know? But, but in, in the last week before you left, yeah, yeah. You were hosting Bill O'Reilly, our beloved Bill O'Reilly. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, he's, he told you, and I quote, uh, oh, you're leaving, so why don't, since you care too much about Muslim and Arab, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, why don't you leave your place to a Muslim and an Arab, right? Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you think of me? <laughs> but here's the thing I want to point out. 
It's not about, it's not that, you know, uh, uh, defending uh, Muslims or defending Jews or defending Christians or defending, what are the other ones? Uh, I don't like assholes. And so I try to speak out against assholes. And isn't that all government is? It's we all get together and decide as a majority who the assholes are. That's, that's what, that's all it is. Government is always a lottery. You, you put your money down, it's a bet. I'm gonna put down some money on this guy in the hopes that he'll turn out to be something good. And a lot of times he doesn't, as it appears to be in this case. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, do you know there's a lot of people here like actually wanting, I mean, some people, a lot of people are actually with the president and a lot of people want to impeach the president. I mean, you, you want to impeach him? Of impeachment, That's, yes. See, this is what's so nice about your democracy. It took us a hundred years of democracy before we impeached our first president. For you guys to do it in one year. <laughs> very, it's very impressive. It's, it's, it's very impressive to me. It's the food. It's the food. <laughs> yes. Can I tell you, I have not had a bad meal since really? I've been here. Well, it's can, unbelievable. Can I share with you a little bit of I would our, love. Our, our, you know, you know, this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, That's so, a plate of a puddle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a, 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 our magic green soup as Molokhaya. Yeah, yeah, yes. Molokhaya. All right. So, I mean, with Molokhaya, what you need, okay. This is a yarmulke, yes? No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm no, sorry. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, I mean, the way you do it, you know, this is, you wouldn't you know, like a cat ear. <laughs> You know, like a little spoon. Like know? a chip? Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and also, right. we have makhasi. Oh. Yeah. Wait. You don't want to eat that. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. I don't eat anything that is a laugh food. Yeah, well. When you say the name of a food and they go, Ngo! What is, uh, what is that? Testicles, yes. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh. Wait, wait. Yeah. How are they prepared? <laughs> What is this? Uh, this is... Uh, if this, this is anything, does this go along with this, if you know what I'm saying? Well, well, this looks like the uh, partner, if you will, to this. No. Is this true? No. I don't no, want no. any part of it. This is... No, uh, I don't... This is, this is uh, what we call bombard, and uh, it will bombard actually your stomach. And it, you don't bombard. want to do that. Yes. Okay, I stay away and, from and that. And we, we have a koshery, a.k.a. mushroom nahda, and... Uh, <laughs> Like, this is the project of the Renaissance project. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. This, I mean, this is. I mean, I advise not to eat any of this. Because, oh. uh, <laughs> so seriously, I mean, uh, I, I, I want to share with you yeah, before yeah. you go um, a list of like survival tips in in, in Cairo. Yeah, in Cairo. So first I would, of all, I would love to hear yeah, about. Yeah. So for, first of all, crossing the streets here is a kind of sports, not. An <laughs> And in some areas, it's kind of an extreme sport, okay? Really? Yeah, and if you pass by a demonstration and people start throwing rocks, it is not an act of aggression. It just became our pastime activity. I see. So You're learning I, to be it, pitchers. It, yeah, I mean, you can play catch or embrace it, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and last, if you are going to drive in Cairo traffic, don't. <laughs> I won't. Yes. I won't do it. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, John, I mean, uh, I mean, I know I wish all the best for you. Uh, I mean, you're not, you have absolutely no, no job, and I know that you're kind of roaming everywhere now. I'm very sorry for you. Yeah. And, uh, you know... That's actually interesting you bring that up, because uh, I heard there might be an opening for the type of humor that I do in this very studio. Seriously. <laughs> Gentlemen! Come out here, please! I have a job for you. Come! Are you going to ask you or what, teacher? Are you going to ask Kuwait, not in the Urdun? Come on, guys. Yeah, guys, you're going to ask me. These are my bags. Why? I'm staying. Hey, hey, teacher. You, my friend, are going. What? What? Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Yeah. My name is John Stewart. I am the new host of Alban Amar! Yeah.